And so today we'll go ahead and get started with our reading. Um, and again, because I'm n never consistent, I'm going to jump ahead to tomorrow because I really liked the reading for the 22nd. We wouldn't get to do it otherwise. But the title is Practice the Power of Respect. <clears throat> it is a quiet power, one that caught me by surprise on my journey. I had heard about it before, but somehow in the shuffle of life, I had forgotten it. Respect. Respect is a spiritual power, a power of the heart, one that's closely connected to gratitude, yet somehow different. It is an attitude toward people, toward life, toward ourselves that only takes a moment to convey, yet somehow has far-reaching effects. It does more than free people to be themselves. It encourages them to be their best. It honors people, life, and the mysterious connection we have to the divine. Have a series of life experiences caused you to forget respect? In your anger, did you decide that certain persons or groups of people were undeserving of respect? Has familiarity with yourself or another caused you to forget to practice respect? Let go of the past. It's over. But your power to transform the future has just begun. Respect and honor yourself. Respect the needs of your body, the needs of your heart, and the dictates of your soul. Respect the lives of others. Respect the gift of life. Bow in spirit to all you meet. Bow to the gifts of the universe, the sun, the moon, earth, sea, and stars. Honor all that lives, the trees, the wildflowers, the eagle soaring high, the deer in the woods, the squirrel scurrying up the tree, the June bug that lights on your shoulder. Each has its place in the world. So do you. Discover the power of respect, then practice it often. Let it change your world. And I think just, you know, gathering here, taking this time for yourself in the morning is, is a sign of respect for yourself. Um, you know, so I just invite you to engage in it fully this morning, really take this time and just to sit quietly and, and be and, and try as best you can to let other things go. Um, and we'll keep our meditation nice and simple this morning. It might be a little bit shorter, but just um, sitting and focusing on breath. So you can go ahead and get in your position for meditation if you haven't already gotten there. Choosing to close your eyes or leave them open. As always, relaxed but alert. Relax your shoulders. Notice the parts of your body that make contact with your couch or chair. Just begin by finding balance, physical balance in our posture, equanimity. Relaxed but aware. Relaxed but present. Let your arms and hands be relaxed. And 
And just as there's nothing mentally for us to hold on to right now, there's also nothing physically for us to hold on to. And so just notice if there's any part of your body that's holding on to something it doesn't need to be. You know better than anyone what those places are for you. And those common places where you hold tension. Just spend some time noticing those spots and using breath to soften and relax them. Now start to bring your awareness inward. So moving it away from your sense of body. And moving your attention to your breath. Just observe your breath as it is without controlling it or changing it. Just follow every part of it as it enters into your nose. all the way down to your belly. And then follow it as it travels back out. Just observe from a place of respect. Respect for your body, for your breath. It does this every day, every night, whether you notice or not. And giving you life over and over again. Just allow everything else that's happening right now to be in the background. Your breath is the center of your attention, center of your focus. You can even pinpoint your focus further by just focusing on one place that you feel your breath most naturally. Instead of following the full path, and just focus on one spot. It could be your nostrils or your throat, your chest. And 
if your mind wanders, and just notice that that's happened. And just pause and say to yourself kindly, I'm thinking. And let that thought go. And then out of respect for yourself and for your breath, just bring your attention back to that flow, to that in and out. Just keep noticing. Be aware if thinking starts to take over. Acknowledge that that's happened. Bring your awareness back to your breath. And just let that be your practice. And the practice isn't to stop thinking, it's just to notice when it happens, because it will happen, and to bring yourself back to it, back to your practice of breathing, just simply breathing in and out. This is a practice of being patient with ourselves as much as anything. Of respecting and embracing ourselves no matter what, no matter what your practice looks like this morning. just sit here out of a sense of compassion and respect for the amazing work that your body does without you even having to try. And just sit in stillness and appreciation Other sensations may arise besides thinking. It could be emotions or <clears throat> actual physical sensations. And just 
and take a step back. Just observe them. Allow them to come and go on their own. We're neither grasping and holding on to these things nor pushing them away. Just letting them go when they're ready and then putting our attention back on our breath. Noticing that one spot in your body where you feel it most naturally. Like you've got a spotlight, the spotlight of your awareness on that spot, and you're just watching and feeling the impact your breath makes. And giving yourself permission to start over again if you need to. Gently start to expand our awareness. Maybe you put your attention on the whole journey of your breath in and out instead of just one spot. Noticing again every place that it touch and impacts as you breathe. revisits those spots that you know best that tend to be tense or hold on when they don't need to. And just sit with them again using your breath to soften and relax them. Just take a few more moments at the end of our practice here just to be and come from a place of compassion and respect for yourself. Be in appreciation for taking this time for yourself this morning.
And remember that you can always come back to this place, to this practice at any point. Start to expand your awareness even more to take in any sounds that may be happening around you. And just slowly starting to bring ourselves out of our inner world and back out to the real world. Maybe there are some smells. Maybe there's a particular taste in your mouth. And start to move parts of your body. Experience touch, the feel of your hands on your clothing or a chair. I'm just doing these things all slowly and with a sense of mindfulness about them. And so we're not jarring ourselves out of our, our practice, I'm just coming out of it slowly. Make any movements that feel good, right? And then, as always, the last thing, if your eyes are closed and you're ready to open them, then I invite you to do that. Thank you guys so much for being here this morning. Um, like I said, there is a class on Wednesday with Jessica, and then we'll send an email out Wednesday or Thursday um, with a link to another meditation and then... Um, also, the bedtime yoga, if you guys are interested, and these will all be um, posted moving forward on our YouTube channel. So um, I just I go ahead and, I guess, subscribe to it. I'm not like a huge YouTuber, so I don't know all the lingo, but <laughs> so that, um, you know, or bookmark the page and then you'll have access to whatever else we um, record and put up there. I know the Breathe and Receive class, if you guys have ever taken that, uh, Jin Chin Jitsu, she um, has done this too. So just have a little library if you guys ever need some resources and we don't have classes or you can't make it, then those will be available up there. You're welcome. Have a great rest of your day. <laughs> Bye. Oh my gosh, Yolanda, that has happened to me so many times in meditation classes, like in person, where it, well, it's funny because I'll realize that I've been sleeping, but I still manage to come out like right when they get you to. So it's like your, your brain is still kind of aware of like, oh yeah, believe me. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> All right. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Bye. You're welcome. Bye.